Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us see the decimal fixed point representation. So when I was also studying, I thought that BCD and the binary representation of any number is 100% similar. I even thought in the same, same way guys, but that is not true guys basically. So it is completely different. Got it? So basically the BCD and the our binary value both are same, but the number of bits occupied by the BCD will be greater than the number of bits occupied by a binary representation and both the representations if you compare them they are not equal guys they doesn't look similar so let us try this in this tutorial so I took a number 4385 I will be forming the binary representation we all know that how to convert a base 10 value guys just do LCM with 2 again and again and write the reminder on the right side by keeping a dash so we have just did it did it did it did it did it so we got a 1 1 2 3 1 triple 0 1 double 0 1 4 zeros 1 so these are 13 bits guys if you count fine so when I try to represent 4 3 8 5 so each number will be represented using 3 bits guys basically okay so 4 is represented 0 1 0 0 3 is represented 0, 0, 1, 1. 8 is represented 1000, 5 is represented 0, 1, 0, 1. So we got here 16 bits and where we got 16 bit, 13 bits here. So number of bits needed to store a decimal number in BCD is greater than or equal to number of bits represented in a binary. So basically BCD will not show in any scenario it will not show less number of bits than bits than binary guys. It will be equal or it will be greater that's it so now I hope everyone got a small idea on this so in the next tutorial we'll be going through the floating point representation and how we can perform operations on floating points numbers so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching